What is up guys, Thaddeus here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how Instagram actually was responsible for my sites generating over, you know, 2,000 a day in orders, 1,000 a day in sales, um, right from the day it went live, okay? Now, how does this happen? Um, you need a particular funnel set in place when you start um, running shout outs, right? Um, but I do want to talk about one thing. There is the meetup in LA uh, on November 2nd. That one is a free just meetup, uh, kind of like meet and greet type stuff. The address will be dropped on November 2nd on this channel the day of because we're not giving it out um, anytime before that. And then the meetup in Las Vegas, guys, that one is crazy. We're renting out a giant mansion. 25 of you guys are going to be able to spend the night with us in the mansion on a more kickback level mastermind, make money, learn from us. A hundred of you guys are going to be there during the day to mastermind and work with us, um, just not spend the night on a more like chill kind of level, right? So Get those tickets in the link in the description and the course guys is selling like crazy the link is in the description for that too But uh, let's just get started with the video. I am hyped for this and uh, yeah guys Instagram influencers having a proper funnel. Let's get started. All right, let's go You got to drive traffic with Instagram Okay, and from Instagram you're collecting data You're sending that traffic to your website and then from there you can you know have your Facebook pixel on your website to collect the data and Scale up right so again. I use Instagram influencers to start off I usually run shout outs for around a month from there I look into um, starting paid ads with Facebook and scaling with that either Facebook paid ads or Instagram sponsored posts okay now aside from all of that we need to figure out all right, I'm gonna explain to you guys the the five the five steps in this whole Instagram funnel that all play a key role into start into into converting from Instagram okay because um, a lot of you guys are you know starting with influencers starting with social media um, without using paid ads yet like I do but you're still having trouble right and I want to be able to show you guys or help you guys out showing you guys the, the five steps that you need set in place because it's, it's a funnel guys if one step in the funnel is messed up that that's that's a problem okay uh that that'll butcher you know every other step in the funnel that that you took time and invested in to perfect but if there's that one that's not doing um so good or there's one that you messed up on then that uh adversely can you know make the entire funnel crap right so i apologize if i seem tired it is 1 30 in the morning right now i am running on very little sleep but i do want to get a video a day up for you guys i promised myself i'd do this and uh my mama ain't raising no bitch so we're gonna get this video up all right so uh, I got notes and let's get started. Step number one, you need to source the proper influencers, guys, okay? And in my course, I, I run through like the entire, entire like step-by-step -step stuff, but essentially what you wanna do is you wanna find a bunch of influencers, I'm talking, you know, 20, 30 influencers. Uh, you wanna find their engagement, get all the information down, then you wanna narrow that down based on their um, engagement levels, okay? And then from those engagement levels, um, you're gonna, after you narrow them down, you're gonna narrow it down once again to a very, very small pool of influencers based on your own budget, okay? And from there, you should be able to pool, like, you know, anywhere from two to five influencers that have good engagement that should be well performing pages okay and again as an industry standard I always work with pages over 400,000 followers okay this is for longevity now with that th th there can be a whole bunch of different factors that come in it but like how do you source a proper influencer one you go to socialblade.com. That right there, you can type in an Instagram username. You can see their followers um, over time. And the only thing you want to look out for is just a direct upward spike, right? So in the bar graph, it go if it goes like this and you see a direct upward spike, oftentimes it, it, it might mean that the influencer purchased followers. And that right there, um, that like that's an issue right because you don't want to spend money on shout out like on a, on a large following when you know a portion of those followers are fake or not real right they're not going to engage with your um, content they're not going to go to your website they're not going to buy your product which is the most important factor okay and then from there that's how you can determine whether or not you know a page is, is credible now figure out engagement rates there's a bunch of different websites that do that i'm actually working on an app for you guys too aside from the other app that i talked about in my uh, other video but uh, this app is just a super simple engagement rate calculator that i think uh, will be super helpful for you guys but for now you guys can go to flanks.com p-h-l-a-n-x Dot com. They have an engagement rate calculated there. You just type in the username and it gives you the engagement. Okay, so from there you should be able to calculate engagement rates for over 30 accounts, and then you can determine which ones are credible by going through Social Blade. Now, once you've narrowed them all down, you narrow them down again based on your budget. Okay, so that's step number one. You need solid influencers. If you don't have solid influencers, the rest of the funnel is complete shit. Okay, it's not going to work. Okay, so you need solid influencers. All right, step two. Step two is purchasing shoutouts. Okay, now this seems relatively easy. You know, you email the influencer, you get their rates, you purchase shoutouts, but but because in this in this day and age, I know Alex Becker said this in another video too, and I'm I'm quoting. I'm not like saying this is like my 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 idea, but people like influencers don't really understand the value of their audience yet, and I agree with this. And 
because of that some influencers charge a lot less than what they're actually worth so you can get away like you can get a bargain right you can like you can buy shoutouts for steel but on the flip side there's some influencers that are actually they realize this and they're charging you know ridiculous amounts for their um for their following size and that's where you want to watch out for that's where you want to don't get like don't want to like take the bite on right because the thing about think about this if you purchase a shout out for say thirty dollars and you make you know a hundred dollars back on that shout out right you're 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 profitable or you should be profitable based on your other cost of goods um, now, if that shout out was sixty dollars, on the other hand, and you made a hundred dollars from you know from the same audience, if it was the same influencer, you might not be profitable based on your other cost of goods and other factors on your website, right? And so, being able to to work with these influencers on a lower shout out basis, or at least gauging like you know comparing influencers and their sizes and seeing what their what their rates are and what they're charging, trying to go for cheaper shout outs. I'm not saying go for the cheapest shout outs because sometimes the the cheapest shout outs some like mean the cheapest quality followers right and so i'm not saying go for the cheapest but i'm just saying keep an eye out guys for people that are that are charging way 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 over what they're worth all right and then from there guys you also don't be afraid to negotiate with influencers because again these shout outs are, are they're just based basically on thought and competitors okay they they don't have any cost of goods to post the shout outs they might have like a va or two um that are actually doing the grunt work and posting those shout outs but aside from that there's no cost of goods for them okay so you can feel free to negotiate it doesn't hurt to try and negotiate it saves you money and again if, if an influencer is you know charging 30 dollars and you make a hundred dollars from that imagine if you negotiate him down to you know fifteen dollars um for for that shout out but say you bought like a bundle of 10 in advance right and you gave it to you for fifteen dollars and you spread those shout outs out so you still make around you know a hundred dollars consistently right you just you just improved your margins right there okay so again guys this all plays into the funnel on how that all kind of works and each step is very very crucial in this funnel and um purchasing shout outs negotiating with influencers and making sure you get your bang for your buck is i think one crucial part that people don't really touch on too much so i hope that right there um provides some sort of insight for you guys now step number three the actual shout out okay guys instagram is such a visual platform if you're not posting good quality images you might as well uh you might as well not dropship, okay? Just because there's so many other dropshippers now in this industry and it's super easy to get into. You need to be better than everyone else. I'm trying to show you guys how to be up here when everyone else is right here, okay? And one thing that you need to do is post quality images, okay? And that includes your shout outs too, not just on your business Instagram page. Your shout outs, you need, you need quality images, okay? Unique, different images. I'm not saying repost the same ones from AliExpress and stuff that are often pixelated, um, low quality, and very generalized, like they're just white backgrounds right those are fine for your website if you have a white background image that, that's usually what you want for a website because you just want to be very specific and just showcase the product itself but for shout outs it's, it often you know comes to the lifestyle you want to get you want to like 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 you want to you want to invoke some emotion out of the image or you want to like showcase some sort of features with with the product something like that but you need quote like you need good quality images okay and I see a lot of you guys I said this in my last video too but I want to elaborate on this but a lot of you guys post text like you slap some text on an image and you use that as your shout out, okay? That's not what you want to do, okay? Because again, I'll talk about this in the next step, but um, the 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 picture is supposed to sell viewers, your like the 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 audience on looking at the caption, okay? The picture isn't supposed to sell them on going to the website. That's not that's not that's not how the funnel works, and you don't want to skip any step in the funnel or you mess everything up, okay? How does this work? So you need a good quality image that gets their attention. They're like, oh shit, what the hell is this, right? That gets their attention. Um, some something unique and just not not a like a bland boring image okay and sometimes guys this means you need to work with photographers use your own camera take some photos or um you know network around pay someone for, for photos right um and honestly if, if you need a bootstrap if you need to be scrappy then you know that's what i did you can take photos yourself until you find other people that can take photos for you or if you make friends with photographers stuff like that okay and doing that you you one you get unique images now that now you you're, you're establishing your brand outside of just a regular drop shipping store so you're making yourself unique okay and then two those shout outs those images like they're different and they're good quality okay you're not posting generalized pixelated white background images that people have seen 100 times over for different products all around okay you get users attention because you gotta do something different you need something to capture their attention um when, when you're doing this all right now that's that's the shout out image okay the next step in the funnel is the caption okay the caption is really what's important because that's gonna want that's gonna kind of close them on going to your instagram business page okay now with the caption there's there's a few ways you can do this again you want to experiment with a, with a lot of what you're doing okay it's all about experimentation all about experimentation okay now one you usually i mean always include your instagram business profile twice like the whole handle so they can click through to it at like multiple times in the caption okay usually one towards the beginning one towards the end okay i do have my website in the very bottom of the caption even though you can't link it 
website, it's just good to go there in case there is some audience that just wants to go straight to your website from the caption, all right? And they don't want to go to your Instagram business profile. It's just good to have it, okay? Um, you can include your price of the product. Um, if you do that, then you know you got to think like, why am I doing this, right? You're doing it because the traffic then that comes from that shout out, they already know the cost of the product. When they go to your website, they're not hit with sticker shock. So that is one less reason that they'll hit your website and then bounce. Um, aside from, you know, if you had a shout out and didn't show the price of the product and it was relatively higher than maybe, you know, your competitors and stuff like that. So when they hit the site, they're like, oh, this is way too much. And then they leave. So that, that eliminates one reason, but then it also eliminates, um, you might have less traffic go to your website because the price is there. So again, guys, it's about experimentation and it depends very heavily on the product you're actually promoting. Um, but again, with the shout out or like with the actual caption of the image, um, usually what worked best for me is a very short description of the product. Again, I gave my own products unique names to make them more unique and like differentiated, uh, not just very simple like, oh, uh, leather watch, right? No, you got to give it like some, you got to give it life guys. You need to give your products life. Okay. It's like, I'm trying to give these, I'm trying to give these videos energy. You got to give your products life. Okay. And with that, um, oh my God, I'm so tired. It's almost two in the morning. Um, with that, well, uh, uh, da, 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 da. yeah. So again, I usually gave a unique name to my products, a very short description of the product. Sometimes I'd, I'd include the price. Sometimes I'd include a coupon code um, specific to that influencer, so I could track them and just see which influencers were working the best. Um, if I was running multiple shoutouts at once, and um, uh, website link and bio, and then I like call to actions, guys. So just like visit the website now, or go to the go to the Instagram page now, or just like 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 shop now at and then your Instagram handle, okay? Just some sort of call to action. Um, you can litter even one or two or three throughout the caption that just get people to click through because then you guys, you need to tell them what to do, okay? You can't just have it there and not say anything. Um, you usually, like, people are lazy. Their, their minds are lazy. Their heads are lazy. You just got to tell them what the fuck to do. And having multiple call to actions is, like, it usually helps um, get people to click through to either your Instagram business page or to your website, right? Um, that's why you also have CTAs on your Instagram business profile page, which is the next step in the funnel. Nine photos fills up the grid preferably you want more but if you just don't have nine photos make sure you have nine photos before you start running shout outs um, again guys followers now this is a touchy subject I would never advocate for buying followers on any sort of industry um, like no personal branding ever no um, and just nothing else except for drop shipping for social proof never advocate for purchasing followers but for drop shipping it is a an idea to keep in mind okay i never did this myself because i grew my pages organically because i had influencers basically what i had is i had the influencers like all the posts all the pages i'd post because i was curating an instagram page consistently so i was posting two to three times a day on my instagram business page okay and i was running shout outs daily i'd have those influencers like all my photos that i was posting every single day and from there i'd get a bunch of bunch of traffic okay that's how i grew to thirty thousand followers in one month with my instagram business page organically okay so i never had to buy followers okay i've seen other people buy followers because they aren't growing their pages um they're just straight up posting you know a few images there buy followers buy a few likes to that and then they stop it like they just keep it there as kind of just like a like a, like a funnel like a door right to their website and bo both options are completely viable and they all work okay you just need social proof you just don't want to have like zero or 10 or 20 followers on your instagram page because when they get there they'll see that you're very very young and again the trust levels just immediately drop down so that hurts your conversion rate so like again if everything before this in the funnel right was working well you perfected it but then you go to your Instagram business page and there's 20 followers all that traffic you worked hard on getting uh, the car just shut off all that traffic you worked on getting it that now they leave like right? like all your hard work is just gone because you didn't follow through and you didn't have every single step in the funnel like like perfected like like looking good okay so again guys followers for social proof lots of posts and again if you're trying to be consistent with your Instagram page like trying to build an actual brand from it like I was doing then you post two to three times a day you don't always post your product um, what I did is I would like for example if I was in the fashion industry I'd repost post other fashion people that are popular um, I tag them of course but you repost them and then you post a product picture you know every three images or something like that okay and then I'd also have the influencers like all these photos so that they know um, or like they like all the photos to get that organic traffic and exposure from their audiences to my site and that's how I grew organically okay but guys that is the video um, I, I, I think it was kind of long but I hope you guys got some value from it. I just wanted to elaborate more I know I mentioned it in the last video but again um, that like the funnel and how to get this traffic to convert well on your pages is super 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 important okay and um that's the video guys i hope you like it leave a like comment subscribe i respond to everybody's comments i'm trying to do these daily goddamn videos it's two in the morning so this video will be up later today technically i'm gonna go home and edit this shit the knockout um and then again guys course 
link is in the description price is going up i think like the whole retail price is like 647 now but um there is a discount for you guys right down below i don't know how long the discount will be but check it out guys because the course is selling like hot cakes so it means it must be working and um uh, da, 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 the meetup guys so there is a meetup in LA I will drop the address to the LA meetup the day of the event I don't want people or I, like um, I can't give it out because like it's like all of us like all my business partners we're all giving we're all dropping the address for the LA meetup on November 2nd um, on November 2nd okay so I'll have a video up that day with the address and then the uh, the Las Vegas meetup guys that one is you actually need to buy tickets for because we're renting out a giant mansion 25 of you guys are gonna be spending the night with us to mastermind learn and make money with and then a hundred of you guys will be there during the day to mastermind learn make money with but then not actually spend the night and like spend time with us and grind with us on a more like chill kind of level um again tickets are in the link they're the very first link down below guys i want to meet all you guys because you guys are freaking amazing and then the last meetups in new york and chicago were freaking crazy okay we had like 150 people in the new york one we had like 90 people in the chicago one and las vegas i think we're gonna blow it out of the water so i want you guys to be there i want to see you guys because it's kind of crazy it's just like like i know it's talking to a screen and there's a lot of you guys behind these videos watching them and it's awesome but i want to meet you guys in person because it's freaking awesome and i'll see you guys in las vegas again guys take care like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and uh yeah peep the course link in description always plug take care guys peace